Now rolling over is a huge mistake that we see with a lot of our players. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you exactly what it is and give you a bunch of drills on how to fix it. First, let's talk about what rolling over is. Now, what rolling over is, is exactly what it sounds like. As the player goes through the turn in their swing, they prematurely roll over their wrist, which is gonna cause a lot of weak ground balls to the pull side. But what we wanna do is as we get to contact, we wanna be palm up, palm down with our hands like that. And we wanna go through the zone, contact, extend, palm up, palm down, and finish, extend it out. And then we can roll over our wrist like that. We want to avoid getting to here and then snapping our wrists over like that. That's gonna give us a lot of weak ground balls. Now, before I get into the drills on how to fix it, the first thing we need to work on is your mindset and your approach. Now, first, the reason that most people roll over a lot is because they're trying to pull everything, meaning they're catching everything so far out front that their hands have to roll over in order to reach it, and that causes a lot of weak ground balls to the pull side. So a simple mindset shift that's gonna help you hit a lot more line drives back up the middle and gap to gap is to try to hit every single ball to right center. This is an approach that we get all of our players to have. Now what that means is we're gonna let the ball get deep and we're gonna try to hit that ball back here to right center, rather than doing what a lot of kids are trying to do is hit that ball way too far out front and then they end up catching it out there, which causes a lot of weak ground balls. But by having a right center approach, if you're bang on with your timing, that's right center, that's a triple double gap. If you're a little bit off with your timing, you have all of this to play with, where if you do catch it out front, that's your doubles and your home run. But if you're trying to pull everything, that means you're trying to hit everything out there, meaning if you're a little bit off with your timing, that's a weak ground ball or a lazy fly ball. Now the first drill is one of my favorites to help people who roll over and that is the split grip drill. So you wanna grab your bat, put your bottom hand on the bottom and give yourself a little bit of a gap in between your knuckles, usually about a fist difference. Okay, and we're gonna go through our swing and we're gonna control the barrel at contact we're gonna extend and we're gonna finish pointing out like that. If you finish down here, that means you're rolling over. If you finish palm up, palm down, out there, that's correct. So next drill is just the top hand isolation drill. So you're gonna get into launch position, lining up the ball in line with your front foot. You're gonna have your elbow up, knob of the bat facing the catcher. And we're just gonna go swing, palm up. And again, we're gonna finish extending out like that. Okay, so we're gonna do one in slow motion. Make sure the barrel works towards the shoulder. Elbow stays tight to the body. Pause at contact, palm facing up. Come back and finish pointing out like that. You can take a little bit off of these. You don't need to swing hard. You're gonna see a lot of kids get to here and they wanna go like that. Just nice and easy. Finish that extension. The next drill is just like the last one, but we're gonna use our bottom hand. So we're gonna choke up on the bat like this, get in the launch position, line up the ball with our front foot, get up here, do one swing in slow motion, make sure the barrel stays tight to the shoulder, pause at contact, make sure your palm's facing down, come back, finish like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now make sure that you share this with a player who hits a lot of weak ground balls to help them hit a lot more line drives gap to gap. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week.